Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Water Logo Reveal. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. At 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own setting. Now create a new solid for our background. You are free to choose any image, or video for the background. Let's import our logo into the project. And then place it into the timeline. First step is to adjust the size of the logo, press S, to open scale, and then adjust the size according to your need. Now right click on your logo, and pre-compose it. Make sure to select this option, else the animation won't look same. Perfect. Now create another solid, we will call it water. You can make it any color you want. This layer is full size of our project, but we need to make it smaller. Press S to open scale, and scale down the size of this layer. Make sure to change the size smaller, so that it will cover our entire logo. You can turn down the opacity of this layer. Change the scale amount and make sure to change the opacity value back to 100%. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the linear wipe. Apply it on the same water layer, and let's make it work. If you change the transition completion, you can see the layer is wiping from side to side, but we need it from top to bottom. So, change the wipe angle to 0 degree. Go to 15 frames forward, and add a keyframe on the transition completion. Now go to the 3 second time, and change the transition completion to 100%. Perfect. If you play this you can see our animation look like this. This looks good to me. Let's make it more attractive. Press U. Select both keyframes. Right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant. And select easy ease. Open graph editor. If your graph does not look like this, right click here and select edit speed graph. Now select the end keyframe, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the timeline. Go to the effect and the presets, and search for the turbulent displacement. Apply this effect onto the same water layer. Now you can see this liquid type of animation. Perfect, let's adjust a few settings. First of all, change the amount value to 100. Change the size value to 70. If you play this you can see our animation is looking more liquid type. Cool, this looks good to me. It's time to track matter our logo from this water layer. Let's minimize it to make some room for us. If you don't see your track mat tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is admitted to the hospital, while attempting the last level of the blue whale game, then right click here, go to the columns, and select modes. Now change the track mat option to alpha inverted mat. Now you can see, our logo is animating just like the water layer. Perfect. Now select both layers, and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. 
Select these layers, and shift them to the right a little. If you play this you cannot see any difference, because this layer is behind our logo layer. Let's select this logo layer, go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the logo layer, and change the color to a blue color. You are free to choose any color. So now we have this blue water effect. Select these top two layers, and place them above the background layer. So this is our basic animation, let's make it more attractive. Make another duplicate of these two layers. Now select all of these four layers, and shift them to the right a little. Let's select this logo layer, and change its color to a different color. For this, I am using a dark blue color, you are free to choose any color. This is our animation looks till now. Let's add some details to it. Select these bottom layers, and make another duplicate of it. Let's change this layer color to a white color. Select both layers, and place them below these two layers. Drag these layers to the right, so that we can see only a thin line of this layer. I am just adding a few frames distance. Play this, and see if you are happy with this animation. Cool, this looks good to me. You are free, to adjust the appearance of layer timing, according to your need. Let's make our project more organized, let's rename all of these layers, so that we can call it easily. Now, we have all of these water layers, but we don't need them to show in the project. So select all of these water layers, and here in the switch tab, you will see this shy button here. Click on it, and then click here to hide them. Now, those water layers are still in this project, but they are hidden. Cool, this is our animation till now, let's apply some bubbles to it. Create a new solid, and let's call it bubble. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the CC bubbles. Apply it onto the layer, and here you will see, our bubbles are the same color as our layer. So go to the layers, go to the solid setting, and change the color to a white color. Perfect. But these bubbles are too large in size, so press S, to open scale and change the scale value to 33%. Cool, let's make these bubbles stop appearing after our logo revealing. Go to the 4 second, and add a keyframe on the bubbles amount. Go to the 1 second forward, and change the bubbles amount to 0. Here our bubbles will start disappearing. Again select this bubble layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's call this layer hard bubbles. In the CC bubbles setting, change shading type to lighten. And then place this layer to the left a little. So that the timing will be different from the bottom bubble layer. Let's change the bubble speed to 2. And here we have these nice looking bubbles. Let's mask out these bubbles into the logo layer so they will visible inside the logo shape only. Select both bubble layers, right click on it, and select pre-compose. Let's call it bubbles. Now select this logo reveal layer, and make a duplicate of it. Place it on the top. 
and change the bubble track map to alpha mat. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's place this logo layer to the beginning, so that our bubbles will start appearing from the beginning. So our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.